Maybe. Maybe. Hey, Brett Hamilton is back with us. Brett, always good, good to, to see, see you. you. Hello, everyone. Brett brings us the Roku. Now, you've probably heard this name before, and you've probably heard a little bit about what it can do. We're going to teach you about the Roku yes. today. We're also going to let you know we've got it at a fantastic sale price. And what we're finding for a lot of folks <clears throat> is that there's a lot of content provided through their cable company that they're just not interested in or not watching. Mm -hmm. There's lots of other content they could have if they had a way to harness it. That's exactly it. This is exactly what's going to happen with the Roku. You're going to add a whole lot of viewing content to your smart television, and you can do it with just the help of your home's Wi-Fi and this little item that you plug into an HDMI port. Yeah. Tell us about the Roku. Tell us what it is and what's included here. Yeah, the days of there's nothing on or over because you hear the term smart TV. This will make a smart TV smarter, but it'll make your TV smart because it's going to give you programming that you may not have access to already. So imagine with the little device that David has in his hand right there, that plugs into the back of the TV. When that goes into the back of the TV in something called an HDMI port, that's the same place you plug in cable, that's the same place you're plugging in satellite, a gaming system, whatever it might be, that magically opens up a whole other window. So this is separate from cable. This is not on a cable channel. This is its own world, as if you were looking at a Blu-ray player or the old school DVD player. But what's cool about what Roku does is that they don't make you search. It will search for you because on the remote control itself, there's a microphone button. And that microphone button will allow you to find anything you want, even if you don't know when it's on, David, if you don't know what channel it's on, even if you don't know who's in it or, or when it aired last, give me off the top of your head uh, a movie, a TV show, something that, you, that you're searching for that you wouldn't know how to find. Okay, Close Encounters of the Third Kind. All right, so the whole family wants to watch the movie. Where would you find Close Encounters right now? I don't know, probably not even on, unless you hold down the button and say, Close Encounters of the Third Kind. And there it is. Ooh. Not only that, the special edition, the director's cut, all that goodness and anything related to Close so Encounters magically appears. So even more appears. content Correct. than what you might find on, say, your cables on demand. Yeah. Right? And, to your point, David, on demand in, in the way that you don't have to worry about whether it's on network TV. You don't have to worry about whether or not you missed it, especially a television episode. Give me a series, a TV series that you've either are currently watching, have watched in the past, uh, a classic, something new, mm. something from a year ago, five years, ten years. Uh, can it be something recent? Sure. Okay. There was a show that I watched that just got canceled after oh. his first season, oh, which I'm kind of sad about. Uh, but it was on NBC, and the show was called Rise. Let's see if it's still there. Rise. There you go. This one. There it is. It was about a high school performing arts program. Well. And they wanted to do a controversial show in a conservative Pennsylvania town. There we go. And uh, apparently America didn't love it because it got canceled after one season. <laughs> but, I thought it was pretty awesome. But because David right. likes it, it lives on forever inside the Roku. Now, everything we're showing you is available in some form or the other. Some of them are free. Some of them are subscriptions like Netflix and Hulu and Amazon Video. For those of you that have Amazon Prime, almost everything inside the Amazon channel is free, which is nice. But the ability to be able to go from place to place to place now uh, works like this. Check this out. QVC has an app, a channel exclusive to Roku. And what's cool about this is that for those of you that have extra TVs in your home and you don't have cable yet, you still want to watch what, or what, 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 what is going on here? So you missed in the kitchen with David on the 30th. No, you didn't because there it is. Oh my God, that was just from this past Wednesday night. And it's already up there and it's, and it's working uh, to stream now. It'll tighten up and give you 4K, a 4K image of that show. So think about that for a second. For those of you that are thinking about either backing off uh, the big plan through cable and, and scaling back, or you want to get rid of cable in a room, keep it in another room, or you just want to watch QVC on a small, older TV that you've got sitting in the kitchen or wasting away in the bedroom or the basement, if nothing else, you can now watch not only QVC, but you can watch Beauty IQ, and you can also watch QVC2, because for many of you, you don't have access to QVC2 in your market yet. Well, now you do, and that is free. So right now, I believe Mary is cooking uh, across the way here, right? Across the way, and Kansas City State Company, the tenderloin tips are on right now. Let's back up a little bit, Brett, sure. because I think for everybody who's watching, they want to see what they get yep. and then how to hook this up. Yep. I want to demystify this and make this very easy, because it is. Okay, you're going to get the remote control that includes the voice remote, mm -hmm. right? Because it has a little microphone button there. So you can talk to your remote and let it find what you're looking for. If you subscribe to Netflix or Hulu or Sling, some of these, you're going to be able to uh, access those with a touch of a button. 
You take this drive and you plug it into an HDMI port. You're also going to get batteries, and I'm assuming the batteries are for the remote. Correct. Yes. Yes. And then these other cables are to charge this device. Well, that's not that right? actually. You never need to charge it. This is going to plug into not only the back of the TV, but to a wall outlet as well, and that constantly gives it a power source. It needs power just like your television does, just like a cable. Also, oh, you have to plug this in Correct. at the same time that it's plugged into the TV. Yes, sir. All right. So then you go into the back of the TV and you look for an HDMI port, and most TVs have multiple yeah. HDMI ports. Yeah. If you've bought a TV within the last 15 years, it's compatible. When I plug this into the TV mm -hmm. and turn the TV on. Yep. It recognizes this. It does. And will it then ask me to join it to the home's Wi-Fi? That's correct. Think of it as, as syncing a tablet, a desktop, a laptop computer. This works exactly the same way. All the content's coming from space. It's coming from the internet that's already in your home. Now, you need wireless internet. You can't plug it in to the router in your house. It's going to get wireless like a computer would. So then, David, you'll see a screen similar to this pop up. It will ask you uh, which apps you want to load and all that other good stuff. There'll be a bunch of preloaded apps as well. And then you can go into the store. And when I say store, I want to be clear of the store doesn't mean you have to pay for something. There is a lot, a lot, a lot of free content. Whether you're renting, you're buying, or you're getting it for free, you go from place to place, look for something, click on the icon, It'll tell you before you play it whether or not you have to pay for it or whether it's free, and then you're off to the races. But remember, unlike your cable box in most cases, uh, there's that search window. Yes, you can go and do it manually, or you can use the microphone. Okay, I've got one for you. Go for it. Back in the 1970s, there was a wonderful family movie okay. that I loved as a little boy with Dick Van Dyke. I know where you're going with this. And it was called Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. Let's see if it's there. So All I'll right. hold down the little microphone button here and say, Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. Oh, you Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. And there it is. It was a magic flying car. Right. That is so cool. That's now, so fun. Now, let me show you something else, David. So you picked a Dick Van Dyke movie, but let's say you forgot the name of Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, but you knew that Dick Van Dyke was in the movie. You could simply say Dick Van Dyke. So there's Dick Van Dyke, and as you scroll down, sure enough, Chitty Chitty Bang Bang is in his library, and he and has a massive body of work. And that movie was first made in 1968. Yep. Now, I can remember watching it in the 1970s, early 70s, because sure. I was born in 64, so I, the first time I remember it was being in grade school. That would have been in the early 70s, like 71, 72. Well, but it shows you right here as well uh, everything that Dick Van Dyke, for the most part, has done, and it's all available on demand for when you want it. Not having to set the DVR, not knowing what channel it's on, all that other good stuff. There's our when guy. you want to watch it. And it's portable. Move it anywhere you want. This sale price will go away end of day today, so we would encourage you to be on the line for this. And this introduces a whole new way to watch great content, most of it free, some of it at a subscription rate. That's correct. But you're going to find that there is no cost for just using the device. Nope, no monthly And day. then once you plug it in, you pick and choose what you either want to watch for free or what you want to pay a nominal fee for. That's it. And that is really fantastic. Brett, thank you, buddy. Thank you, man. Always good to have you back. Have a good day, everybody. This is the Roku. Now, let's also tell you, we've got a way for you to have bed and travel. Or maybe you've got guests coming in for the summer or maybe for a quick weekend visit. And you don't have enough bed space for everyone. Or maybe you're headed to 